Angus here, got another Airsoft video for you guys today. And the first thing you're wondering is, why isn't your head in screen? Why are we looking at your waist down? Well, the reason for that is because today we're not going to be reviewing the stuff we normally review, guns, vests, etc. We're going to be reviewing a pair of pants. If you guys remember from my unboxing a couple videos ago, got these from airsoftpark.com. It's an overseas Hong Kong-based retailer. If you guys are interested in checking them out and buying the pants, they'll be linked down below in the description to their website as well as the actual product. Now the particular name for these pants is the Combat Waterproof Shark Skin Gray Tactical Pants or Uniform, whichever you prefer to call it. Point is, they're just a pair of pants. These are running about $38, which some of you might be, eh, it's a little bit expensive for pants, but I have to say they're actually pretty nice. And I was expecting something kind of cheap because from what I've heard about the camouflage and uniforms you get from overseas, uh, the camo patterns are painted on kind of crappily, and they're overall just not the very best material. But I have to say, I actually really did like these. I used them in a game and everything, so I think they're rather nice. Uh, first off, being that they're waterproof, they don't have that cloth feel you normally get with your regular pants. They're that tougher, sort of outer shell that you almost feel and can tell it's supposed to be slick and waterproof. They're actually quite comfortable. I believe on the site they were listed as polyester. Uh, that's what they're made of. I couldn't tell you really. I'm no clothing expert. I couldn't tell you the difference between cotton, polyester, nylon, etc. The point is they're rather comfortable, uh, rather soft and nice. Definitely a little bit softer on the inside than your regular cloth pants. I believe it said they were lined with a little bit of fleece inside. That's what it appeared because they are rather warm. I have to say, if you play in a colder area, these might be nice pants because they're quite warm. Just right now, I'm pretty comfy in these. Uh, definitely something I could wear casually as well if, uh, if I uh, wanted to break away from my regular jeans. So as far as comfort and material goes, they're made pretty nicely and are actually quite comfortable. Now, as you can tell, these are a little bit big on me, as you can tell, around the thigh area here. That's because it's large. You can get these in extra large, small, medium, etc. All those different sizes over there. They do have the belt loops, though, if you tend to get a bigger size. Uh, you want to be able to fit. Luckily, you can put a belt on here. I hate that when pants don't come with belt loops. No problem with these, though. You can put any belt you want in here. It doesn't have to be a cool one with a belt buckle like mine. Uh, as far as actually what will hold the pants up without a belt, you have your zipper and your button here. The zipper... Zipper isn't waterproof like the other zipper, it's just metal. Very simple mechanism, you slide it up and down like any other zipper. Who doesn't know how to work that? The button up top isn't a button where you'd slide through the cloth. It's just one of those push metal buttons that you pop into each other. Very cheap, that's the cheapest part on the pants. It comes undone constantly. Another reason why I reinforced it with the belt. Uh, as far as pockets on the pants go, there are two identical on each side. You do have a upper zipper pocket where you can slide your hands in these little waterproof zippers. As you can tell, they have the hard casing over them, so no water will seep in there, say, your cell phone or your wallet or some loose cash in there. Nothing will get wet. It simply zips open like so, and the pockets are fairly deep. Uh, not necessarily amazingly deep, but they will hold a wallet or a phone. Uh, I can certainly vouch for that. I do like the waterproof zippers, but one thing I don't like about having them zipped up all the time, I tend to put my hands in my pockets and I always miss because I forget the zipper shut. That's also repeated on this side, same exact style of pocket as well as the one below that, kind of around the knee. Yeah, sort of just an extra utility pouch on the pants. This one's not held by a zipper. It's held by simple Velcro, which is simply open like so. This one, again, not exactly that deep, but you could hold some loose items in there in an airsoft game, say an important document, speed loader, uh, maybe a spare magazine if you didn't want to run a vest when wearing these. The point is you can hold something in there, and that's rather convenient. Now, that's pretty much everything overviewed in here. They're just pants with pockets. That's all I can really say inside, but I prefer to field test everything. And what better way to field test these waterproof pants than to pit them against the icy rains and high winds of Hurricane Sandy that's currently hitting the east coast that I call my home. So let's go ahead, see if these are waterproof. And really look at that. You can tell the water's just kind of beating and sliding off of the pants. And in all honesty, being honest, I'm not wet whatsoever underneath the pants themselves, perhaps from the waist up, but not underneath the combat waterproof pants. Uh, they still are keeping my legs fairly warm, not being penetrated by the cold as fast as I am, obviously, up top here without a shirt on. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead inside, get me some nice soup. This has been the review of the Combat Tactical Shark Skin Gray Waterproof Pants. They're waterproof, they're windproof, pretty warm, take my word for it. Here at Death for Airsoft, 
we might not have the best lighting, we might not know the technical terms for certain things, and to some of you, I might not have a brain, but I know how to do a field test, do I not? Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.